Hey, as you can tell from the title of this video, you are going to learn how to use a automated customizable spreadsheet for your accounting records. Now this spreadsheet, you need to have a Google account. Now this could be Gmail account, of course, um, you need to have a Google Drive, so access to Google Sheets to use this template. Now this video is going to teach you how to use the template completely before you purchase it. You will be able to purchase it on Etsy.com. The link is below and you could purchase it there. And as you watch this video, uh, you will learn a little discount code to enter at checkout. Uh, so keep watching, learn and start saving money and becoming that savvy business owner with finances. Okay. Good luck to you guys. Now time to watch. Hi, I'm Miranda Seuss. I'm a wedding photographer in New Jersey. I have a spreadsheet for every small business owner who has credit cards, multiple bank accounts, including checking and savings accounts, and wants to track all of it in one spreadsheet. Well, I created something for you that will make a huge difference on how you budget and track your money every month and then send it over to uh, for tax purposes. So this is a month by month spreadsheet that you're going to have to make a copy every month for and then sooner or later you can create a big year one for yourself. I want to show you how to use this spreadsheet because I don't want to like drag this video on longer than it needs to be but basically if you have the multiple bank accounts and you have credit cards and sometimes you accidentally spend on a credit card that wasn't meant for business but meant for personal use and vice versa, this is a way you can track it all and make sure that it's going in the right places. And uh, this hopefully will help you stay debt free or pay off your debt and things like that and track your money. So let's get started. I'm gonna bring you over to the spreadsheet here and how to use it. Okay, so now we're on our spreadsheet. So you're gonna wanna make a copy, first things first, right here. And you can label it however you want. We're gonna call this one March, 2023 and you put your business name here make a copy okay beautiful now that you have made a copy of your spreadsheet and it's for the month of March you're gonna want to go to the last tab in your spreadsheet where the monthly stickers are and copy from whatever month we'll say March control C and then bring it over to your calendar, control V and correct month there. And you can even go to the monthly calculations and make sure your March sticker is in the right spot. Now you don't need to use these stickers. It just helps you stay organized if you want for fun. Okay, so next step is what you're gonna wanna do. You can read this first as well and it helps you guide you on what you should do step by step, but we're just gonna go over like the really important stuff so you understand how to use this. And you can always reach out to me if you have any questions. So we're gonna go over to monthly calculations and we're gonna find out from all over, let's say small business accounts, how much money you're starting with. And you enter that here just for fun and example sake, we're gonna put $10,000, okay? And this will auto populate as you put in your expenses and your income, uh, you know, accounts receivables coming in um, and, and kind of give you an estimate of what you should be ending the month with. And this gives you the difference from when you start and finish. So don't fill these in, they will auto calculate. And as we bring in our spreadsheet over here, you will see the budget, the income expenses and savings reports. So I hope if you're a small business owner, you have savings accounts. Also, if you're personal banking purposes. You have savings accounts as well. So you can track all of that and put um, every uh, check you get in for your business. You're splitting it up into different savings accounts. Okay, so we're gonna go into uh, the next part, which is goals, um, budgets, things like that. Now you do not need to fill this out if you don't wanna do that yet. You don't have to, but this will give you an idea. So say for example, my goal this month um, for accounts receivables, most of my money probably comes through HoneyBook, which is my CRM. Say my goal this month is $10,000. So I'll put that in here. And sometimes they'll get money over check, cash, things like that. And so over time, it'll auto-calculate from the other tabs down below. 
and fill this in to see how much money. But basically, this is the number here I'm going to look at and see um, what the difference is on what my goal was and how much I actually made. Okay, so then, uh, yeah, you can put in your budgets here. I've already created categories for you, so you are more than welcome to change these categories that work with your small business, but usually this is the categories that you use for accounting purposes. Um, maybe there's more categories that you use or less, but this should be helpful for you so you don't have to complete it. So after you've done your budget and goals, we're going to go over to the categories list, which is over here on your spreadsheet. I've already put in the expense categories all in here and left little notes here so you understand what they mean. Um, and you can totally add more down below if you'd like, delete, remove, you know, make your updates there. Next, you're going to go over to projects. So for example, I'm a wedding photographer, so I would go into these projects from my CRM that I've created and fill them in here throughout the month. So for example, let's say 3123, we'll say headshot session, and you can go on and go forth for the different projects and different uh, things for expenses and revenue will go in here. Savings accounts. So I had different savings accounts. I have one for operating expenses, one for taxes, one for my equipment and education purposes, ads and marketing. I spelled that wrong. One for owner's draw to pay myself every month, my health, and other savings accounts you might have or checking accounts too. Accounts receivables would be ways that people, we, people or businesses pay me um, in different forms right here. Accounts payable is how I pay for products, you would pay for products or services, and where that's what bank accounts are coming out of um, here. Okay, so you can complete that however works best for you. Next, we're going to go over to your income log. So this is where you enter. This is fun because it all auto populates as you enter things in. So with the income log, we'll start with 3123. And then for the project name, since you know I've already have my project names filled out, I just drag down uh, this box and then pick what I want to income, money that came in, and which account did it come through? They paid check. And for the amount of $100, and you can put additional notes. So the, these track boxes are here for, to remind me if I have transferred money from here into the other savings accounts because I don't like to keep everything in one checking account. I need to split everything because then I'll overspend and go into debt that way. So this is how I prevent that from happening. Next, I'm gonna go into my um, expense log. Say um, because of that photo shoot on 3-1-2023, I spent money on Amazon, let's say lighting, and the category was, this will tell you all what all of that is, right? So this is going to be equipment, so just type that in and it populates the right field. Equipment, and the project was on 3-1 here for the amount of $20, and I paid with my Marriott credit card and which is the correct account payable sometimes okay sometimes i actually use the wrong card to pay for a business expense so this is how i track it to make sure i pay back the correct card or savings account or whatever it is bank account correctly so sometimes i make that mistake so i'm going to say is that the correct card we're going to say yes and then because they match, check yes, perfect, additional notes, business, banking, checking account, O's, Marriott, CC. And because I used the word O's in this additional note, that highlights it automatically, this maroon color, because I want to make a note that I owe money to a certain bank account. And I'll come back to it at the end of the month to make my um, pay off the balances that are owed. Okay, after I've completed the expenses, 
and the income, I can go over to my bill calendar and add in any bills that I have in the month. So say for example, annual or monthly. So say on the first of every month, I need to pay my studio rental. Okay, and that is for $500 a month. And then once that's paid, I just check it off to remind or tell myself I paid that. If there's annual fees that you own, you could put that on here just to have a little reminder. I don't usually use the bill calendar. I have a Google calendar that I use for everything, but this might be helpful for you if you're into that. All right, now because I bought equipment, I need to track that for inventory purposes. I need to fill this information in, and this is stuff I would need to give to my accountant later on in the year. Next up, mileage tracker. So this is stuff you also need to give to your accountant at the end of the year for taxes. Uh, track your miles from your car, things like that. So you can enter all that information here, and that should track all the total miles that you use in your car. All right, last thing. Once you've done all of those sheets, you go into your monthly calculations right and this will tell you how like we already did i got a hundred dollars from that check it auto populates and tells me how much money difference for my goal versus how much i need and if you go over here into the expenses it should say okay i spent twenty dollars equipment here and if you had a budget for that it would explain how much you went over or under and then once you go up to the top here you could see all of these charts being um, shown to show you how your money is being spent and how much money you should be ending up with and things like that. Okay, and last but not least, let's go over the savings. I'm gonna show you all the accounts I really do have broken up for my savings log. So first of all, we have taxes. 22% goes into taxes. You can change this number, whatever works for you. And, say, and so on and so forth. Now, if you have multiple savings accounts, please add to these fields so you can calculate accordingly. So first things first, we have our first project of the month, which is the headshot session. And the accounts receivable from that account is coming from a cat or check. And that amount was $100. So these should auto populate if you just go equal, right? And then that's the formula, E8 times G8, um, will give you the number right there. Same thing here, five. So you'll do equals this amount times this amount, and then you'll get the amount that's supposed to be going into that account. Same thing here, this times this here. And we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste all the percentages down once you've confirmed that's how much percent you want to put into your savings account for every dollar that you get in. So you just see this little bottom right square, you're going to drag and click all the way down, right, as far as you want for each field because it'll save you time in the long run. Then you'll want to do that as well for here, so it'll auto-populate those formulas going down as you complete the fields um, to the left. Now every month you're going to know how much money should be going into each savings account so you don't accidentally overspend because you're supposed to put money into savings. Every small business is different and operates different. Okay, so I completed the uh, tutorial on how to use the spreadsheet so you can become a really smart, savvy money um, business owner and track your money and budgeting and make sure you don't go into debt. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I hope this helps you and um, happy making money, everybody out there and loving what you do. Mwah. Bye.